All right, so I thought I would try to do a quick little how-to on primers if, for anybody who is unfamiliar. I just wanted a refresher. This is NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnology Information page, and so this is where you uh, all sequences are deposited for organisms, and it also has tools to design primers. So first, let's just, there's several ways to do this, but let's just look for, let's say we're interested in oyster in all databases. Um, we're interested particularly in nucleotide sequences. So what we have here is all the sequences, Grisostria gigas in the public database, you know, 200,000. Right. So you could browse these, but you, you don't have time. But through your research, you might find certain genes you, you're particularly interested in. Um, let's just say HSP70. You might get something like this. And it's eventually, one way or another, you'll come to a, a particular entry for a single gene. It would look something like this. This is the gene sequence, protein sequence. And you can simply just hit this thing. It says pick primers. There you go. Consider your um, parameters. Emma might have some specific parameters you'd want to change. Um, but by default, it's probably going to be OK. Um, I would say the product size you want would be the thing to consider. You might want something between 100 and 400. This is something left over from my private settings. Uh, you said get primers. And there, there it is. So it shows you a map of the gene, where all the primers are. And these are the actual primers. It gives you a forward and reverse primer and all of the uh, parameters associated with melting temperature, GC, if it binds to itself, and the penalties for that.